Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nick and today we are building another house in The Sims 4. And yet again, this is a spooky Halloween themed build. So this one is the house from, I believe it's a movie, Psycho. It's also the Bates Family Mansion. It's an Alfred Hitchcock movie. I personally have not seen it. Um, but my mom recommended that I build it because I sent her the Halloween house that I done. And so she thought I would do this one really well. So this one was for her. I don't think she's watching this, but <laughs> how are all of you today? I am doing amazing. It snowed today, actually, for the first time this season, which was interesting. It didn't stick, but... It was a nice little surprise. Um, I suppose I should talk a little bit about the house. So it is three bedrooms and two bathrooms and it's a Victorian house. So it has a bit of an older charm to it, especially on the inside. So I didn't really follow any picture references for the inside, but I did see a floor plan for the house. So I worked around that and kind of made it my own which i think you'll see so let me actually throw up a picture of the inspiration here so you can see what i'm looking at and what my reference was i definitely went a more colorful route than i think it would be portrayed in psycho um definitely seemed to be more spooky from the pictures that i was looking at but i figured you know might as well update it a little bit but keep it very true to the original build so I really like it I think it's a really cool house especially when we get to the inside and it just fits in this neighborhood in Willow Creek very very nicely but some facts about this house are that it has three bedrooms and two bathrooms there is an incredibly spacious attic that is totally empty it has just some dark wood wall and flooring with some lights hung up um, but there is most certainly another bedroom and bathroom if you want it to be that or literally anything you could put up there it has a skylight it's a really cool space you can see it in the screenshots but i decorated it or i guess i didn't really decorate it but um i selected the wallpaper and everything off camera but you'll see glimpses of it at the end if you stick around some other things that this one has are a gorgeous hardwood grand entry um it's two stories it doesn't actually go um you can't see the second story from the first one but the themes continue throughout it's a very luxurious entrance i imagine this house would be perfect for entertaining the living room is very spacious and flows perfectly off the entryway the hallways are pretty bare so i imagine a lot of people could move through the house pretty easily um the dining room is stunning and the kitchen is right off of it and that's a really cool place that i'm really excited for you to see i also added a home office i do that in so many houses um i just think it's really nice to have and there's a separate entry as well um kind of a mudroom off the back which you'll see but right now this is the main entrance that i'm working on and it has this super dark wood interior and i just am obsessed with it i think it looks so grand so nice and it fits really well with this neighborhood which i said already but for your reference it's the one with the goth family home so very on brand for this area um more about the house there is no custom content so right there i was using the tool mod i forgot to cut that clip out but just a little sneak peek into what i do to get the houses picture perfect for you just to make everything size right but you don't need any mods or custom content at all to download this house you can find it under my username on the sims 4 gallery at nick last game um and you just search it up and it should be right there for you it's called the psycho bates mansion but there also will be a link to it in the description so scroll down there and you will be able to click on it i don't know exactly how it works with um opening the gallery in your browser that's how i get the link not sure how you get it in your game from there but i think if you could like favorite it then it'll show up when you're in game 
So try that if, uh, if that's an option. Um, but this house costs $118,900. So not too bad. It's a really nice house, but I did try and keep it um, a bit affordable. And I also tried to limit myself on the number of packs that I was using, or not really the number, but I just wasn't opting for packs that I didn't think I would use too much of. But I did use quite a few but not many items from them. So please do not be discouraged to download this house if you don't have the packs that I used. A lot of it is one or two items or maybe a plant or something or like wallpapers, which you can easily go in and there are plenty to choose from, which will get this style accomplished perfectly. I use base game, uh, dining tables. Um, I think a lot of the flooring is base game. Um, a lot of the wallpaper, the kitchen, um, the living room. <laughs> I used a lot of base game and it was intentional because I wanted to keep it a bit restricted, but I did use other packs, but please download it. It'll just be replaced with something that you do have. Now we're already on to the kitchen and then we're going to go, I believe the back room and upstairs. So here is a kitchen that I was obsessed with. It is just tucked away in the corner and it goes down these little stairs um, and it has everything you would need. And it's just really cute, compact. I don't know. <laughs> I like it. It doesn't feel overwhelmingly large, but you have a lot of room. And I can just imagine if you were in there and they were cooking something good and you were in the dining room too. <sighs> so many great smells. <laughs> I am very hungry. I smell pizza cooking downstairs right now. So, forgive me for talking about food. <laughs> I don't know when you're watching this, but you get a snack. Snacks are great. Um, <laughs> now we're in the hallway, like I said, super bare. So I think I just put that picture up and left it so that you could have a lot of Sims in here and entertain. Here's a private back entrance with a separate staircase and a little uh, coat rack and an umbrella rack and the same end table that I think I use at the front. I really like it for this house. One thing that I challenged myself with for this one was I think I used the tall wall height, which is a first. I never, ever, ever use that. Um, if I didn't, and that's a lie, oops. I think I used it on the second floor though for the largest little, I think it's called a freeze, the little ornate element right below the roof line. Um, I think it's tall wall height, but what I did to make it very interesting was messed with platforms a lot. So there's a lot of stairs that you're going up and down in this house just to get to little different levels. And I think it has this amazing effect. I love when I see it in other houses, people do it so, so well. And I want to be just like that. I want to be able to do it just as well. So I gave my first attempt. I don't know if I would say my best because it was definitely more of a mid thought, not an afterthought, but a mid thought. Um, <laughs> but we'll see. I want to do it a lot more in the future. We're already in to one of the bedrooms. So on the second floor, there is a separate landing area. Bookcases are all over. Um, but being an old house, there's not many bathrooms. So they all share one bathroom upstairs that's not attached to any specific bedroom. It's off the back kind of by the secondary staircase, which is nice, it's tucked away, but there's also a full bathroom downstairs. So two bathrooms in the house. I think that'll be enough. I hope it's enough. If not, upstairs, you can totally build one and add another bedroom, like I said. I really hope if you've made it this far, stick around for the screenshots or even just skip to the one of the attic because I want you to see it. I think it's really cool. Or you can always download it and see it that way. That'd be really sick. If you download it and make any changes, share it and tag me, tweet me, comment on Instagram, whatever you want to do to let me know that you did that. But we're about done with this video. So thank you so much for watching. This is my last Halloween video. So happy Halloween. Enjoy some screenshots.